Hello again, everybody. Okay, a lot of people are not very impressed with mathematical card tricks, but if you use a combination of mathematical card tricks together, you can create an amazing mentalism card trick. Now, this was sent to me by Calibus71, and there's a link to his tutorial at the end of this video. So if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, you can see exactly what he does. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the spectator divide the deck into six equal piles. And they can cut the cards into six equal piles. And since I'm going to just do the tutorial as I go along, I'll tell you why. Because you do not want more than 12 cards in any one pile, otherwise it won't work. So you've got six equal piles with 52 cards in the deck. Um, 52, nine times six is, uh, is 54. So you shouldn't really have more than nine cards or 10 cards, 12 cards should be fine. So we've got six piles, hopefully all of them have less than 12 cards. And we ask the spectator to select a pile, let's say they choose this one, flip the cards over and ask them, ooh, that's not lucky, ask them to memorize any one of these cards. So let's say they memorize the eight of diamonds. That's gonna be their card. Now all we're gonna do is memorize the bottom card, the six of clubs. So we close up the pack and we place the uh, pack right in the middle and bury it in the middle of the deck. Now, the spectator's card is the eight of diamonds and we're remembering the six of clubs. We'll have the spectator cut the cards, we'll finish the cut, cut the cards, we'll finish the cut. We could do this as many times as they like. Now we're gonna say, well, we're gonna just look through the deck to see if we can get a feel for your card. What we're actually doing, and they know that there's no possible way we can know what card they're thinking of, we're actually gonna be looking for our key card, the six of clubs. So as soon as we find the six of clubs and we hold the cards up, as soon as we find the six of clubs, we get that right to the bottom of the deck. Again, their card's the eight of diamonds. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count off 20 cards in our heads and place them on the bottom of the deck. The easiest way to do this is in groups of threes. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20, place it on the bottom of the deck. Now we're gonna go into what I have as the cut card trick revealed. It's a self-working card trick. There's a link for cut card trick right here on the screen. You can click on the link to see how this trick works. So once again, the spectator's card is the eight of diamonds and we are now making four equal piles and dealing the deck out four equal piles. So once this is done, we're gonna ask the spectator which pile they see their card in. Do you see the card in this pile? No eight of diamonds? No. You see the card in this pile? No eight of diamonds? No. See the card in this pile? There's the eight of diamonds. Now, the way this trick works is their card has to be either the sixth, the seventh, or the eighth card of the pile they tell you that, that they, their card is in. And the reason why is because six, seven, eight, that's three possible cards times four piles is 12 cards. And that's why we don't want more than 12 cards in any pile to start the trick. So when they tell us that card is in this uh, pile, we know it's one, two, three, four, five, six of hearts, eight of diamonds, or 10 of spades. In this case, it's the eight of diamonds, and it could be one of these two for an alternate finish to the trick. So they tell us it's in this pile, we close it up, and we bury it between two piles, and then put the third pile on top, just like that. Now what we do is we go into the best math trick revealed, which I have a link to right over here. We're going to make three piles, counting down from 10. Picture cards are worth 10, and if we get a match, which means as I count down 10, 9, 8, if I match an 8, then we move on to the next pile. If we don't get a match, we cap the pile and move on to the next. Let us let me show you how it works. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no match, cap it. 10, 9, there's a 9. Next pile, 10, there's a 10. Okay, now one side note. If you should cap the first two piles, you need to mix the cards and do these 22 cards again and do it again. The trick won't work unless you have a match in one of the first two piles. So now we have a match and you'll most likely get a match in one of the first two piles. Now we can move on and say, okay, 19. 10 plus nine is 19. The 19th card is going to be the magic card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The 19th card is their card, which is the 8 of diamonds. Now, that's going to be their card most of the time. But if it's not their card, their card will be one of these two cards, either the 6 of hearts or the 10 of spades. So, here are the alternate finishes. You can say, I just said that was going to be a magic card. I didn't say that was going to be your card. That card is going to be is going to help us. It's going to be an indicator. So what we want to do now is we want to play six cards on top. I'm going to put these cards face up right over here so you can see how this works. We want to play six cards on top. One, two, three, four, five, six cards on top of that pile. And one, two, three, four, five five, six cards on top of that pile. Then we want to deal out nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now what we're doing is we're going into the amazing mathematical card trick revealed, which is a link right over here. We've now got their, their card is in the third position of either one of these piles. So we now can say to them, and let's just assume their card was the Ten of Spades. Uh, we now say to them, choose a pile. And let's say they choose this pile right over here. We could say, okay, we're going to spell out Eight of Diamonds. Again, this Ten of Spades is face down. So we go E-I-G-H-T, put the pack on top. Of, O-F, put the pack on top. Diamonds, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, put the pack on top. Now we spell out the word magic to reveal the magic card. M-A-G-I, and there it is, the Ten of Spades. Now, if that is not their card, then say, I never said that was your card. That is just the final magic indicator card. And then we move on to the last pile, and we say... We're going to spell out Ten of Spades to finally reveal your card. And we go T-E-N, put the pack on top. O-F, put the pack on top. S-P-A-D-E-S, -E put the pack on top. And now we get, again, we spell the word magic. M-A-G-I-N-C, to reveal their card is the Six of Hearts. So, again, their card could have been the Eight of Diamonds, the Ten of Spades, or the Six of Hearts, and those are three possible endings to this trick. In most cases, it will be in the seventh position, so when you do the 19 or you do the countdown, you will get to their card. If it's not, and it's in the sixth or the eighth position, then it will be in one of these two piles, and you want to get it to be the third card down of nine cards, and then go into the amazing mathematical card trick revealed. Now, if that didn't make any sense, then you're normal because that was very complicated. But watch it over again. It's really easy to do, and it will amaze people. Good luck. That's it. Contest results are coming up in a few days. Good luck. I'll see you next time.